yogis, different one today, sitting on a chair, a bit of a random chair, this is the only one I had. But this is a yoga flow you can do at your desk. Okay, how many of us um, spend hours and hours hunched over a laptop, especially with working at home at the moment, we are not in the most ideal position, so we can get super achy. But saying that, it's not actually, you could have the most perfect posture, but one of the main things is that we regularly move our bodies. So if you're sitting there all day with perfect posture, you're probably still gonna be achy because you haven't moved your body at all. So here are some ideas you can do at your desk that are gonna feel really, really good. Nothing crazy, super simple. Set a timer every 30 minutes, every 45 minutes to just get up, have a walk around and do some little movements, okay? And it's one of those things if you work in an office, I bet if you started doing this, people would probably copy you and be like, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's simply start by moving, by connecting to the breath. So take a big breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Again, inhale and release. As always, guys, you know your body best. If any of this hurts, then please modify. And you can do this sitting on the floor as well. You don't have to be in a chair. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose if you can. Big breath in. And as you exhale, bring your chin to gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop the chin. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lift the chin. Inhale. Exhale, right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale. Exhale, drop the chin. Inhale. Exhale, lift the chin. Inhale. Now coming back to center, slowly just start to circle the eyes. Because again, if you work on a laptop all day, your eyes don't move. So let's do three circles one way, then three circles the other way. <laughs> Feels weird, right? <laughs> and then bring your eyes back to center and start to move your shoulders. So inhale, lifting them up and exhale, bringing them down your back. I said these were simple, didn't I? Inhale, lift them up, exhale. But simple's good. Simple mean we, means we can properly connect movement to breath. We're not worrying about what we're actually doing. Last time, inhale, lift it up, then exhale, bring it down. There's some little side stretches. So inhale, left arm comes up, exhale, take a little side bend over. Keep grounding through the sit bones, inhale, lifting up, exhale, take it to the other side. Last time, inhale, lift up, rise up. Exhale. Then inhale, pulling you through center and exhale. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, brings you back, left hand, right knee, right hand behind. Find length through the spine, then exhale, find rotation. Imagine your spine is like a spiral staircase. So you're, spent, you're sending this twist all the way from the bottom to the top. You're not just relying on your neck to twist. As you inhale, find space. As you exhale, find that tiny bit more rotation. Inhale through center, exhale, take it to the other side. Finding length, inhale, exhale, finding a little bit more depth. One more big breath and exhale, brings you back to center. This is one of my favorite ones at the moment. You're gonna actually inhale, lift the arms up. Imagine you've got pencils on the fingers, drawing the biggest arc you can over your head. Then interlace your fingers and push your palms away, lifting through the side waist. Again, we can take a little side stretch over, exhaling down, inhaling up, then other side, exhale. Inhale, then bring that basket of your hands around your head, push your skull back as your elbows open, lifting through the chest, hug the ribs in, so you're not just dumping into your lumbar spine, your lower back. And then as you exhale, round in elbow to elbow. Inhale, push back. Exhale, round. 
Last time, inhale. And exhale, round it through. Coming back to center now, we're gonna take a fold over the legs. So slowly, start to fold the body forward, reaching the arms up, breathing space into the shoulders, and just fully relaxing over the thighs, melting down. No effort. Breathe into it for three, for two, and one. Inhale, slowly, mindfully, come all the way up. Release the hands, maybe give your shoulders a little bit of a shake. And let's bring your attention to your ankles for a moment. So give your right ankle a little bit of a circle, three times one way, three times the other way. Stay with your breath. Coming onto the left side now, three times one way, three times the other way. This can be also an amazing flow for the plane if anyone starts flying again. So slowly release. And then this is what my um, kids call in their ballet classes, good, to good toes, naughty toes. So good toes, point the toes, bad toes, flex the feet three more times. Point, inhale, exhale, naughty toes. Two more times, inhale, exhale, send the heels away. Last time, inhale, point and exhale, send the heels away. Then coming back, one of my absolute favorites, if you get a tight lower back, if you have lower back pain, this can be a really good one. Remember, if you do have lower back pain, speak to someone if you're worried and it continues. Um, and we've got a really nice short lower back pain flow in this series as well. I think you guys have already done by Fanola, physiotherapist. Anyway, um, seated pigeon. So if you're on the floor, you can do this on the floor. So your knee is bent. Um, but you're going to bring your left leg over your right, just underneath your right knee, and you're slowly going to inch, hinging from the hips, inch forward. So you're going to feel a stretch on this left hip here. Only go as far as you can control. Just be warned, you're not rounding the back here. It really is a hinge from the hips, and you're going to feel a stretch on that left hip. Breathing into it. Just taking notice, because we're going to compare how this felt on the other side too. And then inhale, brings you back up and let's switch it over. Taking that right foot over, flexing the foot and then hinging from the hips. And again, notice, how does this side feel in comparison? Which side feels more sticky? Maybe they both feel the same and that's okay too. Breathing here, three, two and one. Slowly release the foot, release the hands, close the eyes, turn the palms facing up, and we're gonna end with three deep breaths. Breathing in, slowly breathing out. Inhale. And release. Last one, big breath in. And let it go. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Super simple, but how yummy did that feel? See you again tomorrow on the mat.